Hello, welcome to Critical Joke Theory with your host, G.D. Fenderson, Certified Forensic Humorist. Now with new joke technology. Hi, I'm G.D. Fenderson, Certified Forensic Humorist at large, but I'm losing weight. Welcome to Critical Joke Theory, episode 48. Now with new joke technology and open captioned for the humor impaired. An Idaho inmate, Skylar Mead, and the accomplice, Nicholas Oppenhauer, who helped me to escape from a hospital visit on Wednesday by shooting two state correction officers were captured Thursday, ending a 36 hour manhunt. Okay, before I show you their pictures, I'm going to tell you that they were both captured and taken into custody without a shot being fired or the use of excessive force. This is Skylar Mead, and this is the alleged shooter, Nicholas Umpenhauer. Mead and Umpenhauer who have ties to the Aryan Knights. Wait, they were white supremacists too? (laughs) Of course they were. The Ruth Bader Ginsburg Leadership Award ceremony was canceled amid criticism for honoring Rupert Murdoch and Elon Musk and others. Rupert Murdoch, Elon Musk, and three others will no longer receive the Ruth Bader Ginsburg Leadership Award. The presenting organization the Opperman Foundation announced in a statement on Monday. Following the piling criticism, Julie Opperman, the chairperson of the Opperman Foundation, said in a statement, the last thing we intended was to offend the family and friends of RBG. Julie Opperman should have stopped at the next to the last thing she intended, which was to set RBG spinning in her grave. Ex-President Trump could soon receive a windfall valued as much as $3.5 billion with shareholders of a publicly traded funding partner on Friday approving a merger with his Trump Media and Technology Group. Shares of Digital World Acquisition Corporation, a so-called blank check company that will now merge with Trump's media group, jumped 5.5% in morning trading. Digital World is a special purpose acquisition company, or SPAC, a shell company that is created to take a private business public without conducting an initial public offering. Shell companies are used to hide money, like the shell game that corner hustlers play. Like Hans Gruber said in Die Hard, you ask for a half a billion dollars, Trump, I give you a shell company with dark money. The final former Mississippi law enforcement officer who pled guilty to torturing two black men was sentenced Thursday to 10 years in prison. U.S. District Court Judge Tom Lee sentenced former Richland police officer Joshua Hartfield after five minutes of deliberating outside the courtroom. Hartfield's sentencing comes after Lee earlier Thursday handed former Rankin County Sheriff's Department deputy Brett McAlpin, the chief investigator and highest ranking deputy at the scene, a sentence of more than 27 years. McAlpin, Hartfield, and four other former officers pleaded guilty to more than a dozen federal charges after Michael Corey Jenkins and Eddie Terrell Parker accused them of bursting into a home without a warrant, calling them racial slurs, beating them, assaulting them with a sex toy and shooting Jenkins in the mouth in January, 2023. Or as they say in Mississippi, Happy New Year's name. A conservative social media influencer, influenza, influencer, Isabella Maria DeLuca has been charged with storming the U.S. Capitol and passing a stolen table out of a broken window allowing other rioters to use it as a weapon against police, according to court records unsealed on Monday. Isabella Maria DeLuca was arrested last Friday in Irvine, California on misdemeanor charges, including theft of government property, disorderly conduct, and entering a restricted area. This being a misdemeanor, DeLuca could get off with only probation, while her male followers could get off with this picture.
The United States Justice Department and 16 attorneys general sued Apple Incorporated, accusing the iPhone maker of violating antitrust laws by blocking rivals from accessing hardware and software features on its popular devices. The suit filed Thursday in New Jersey federal court marks the culmination of a five-year probe into the world's second most valuable technology company. United States Attorney General Merrick Garland said in a press conference that Apple has consolidated its monopoly power not by making its own products better, but by making other products worse. An Apple spokesperson responded, and... Donald Trump seen here asking if you have $464 million that I can borrow, approached more than 30 firms to secure that $464 million bond that's due in the civil fraud case against him and faces insurmountable difficulties in doing so, his attorneys argued in court papers Monday. The former president asked an appeals court to pause the March 25th deadline by which he must post a bond as he fights the financially crushing ruling that New York Attorney General Letitia James won at trial. Attorney General Letitia James responded by rolling her eyes, working her neck, and saying, all I know is that bitch better have my money. It is reported that ex-President Trump is looking to rehire Paul Manafort to work in Trump's campaign. Manafort is reported to have said, Put me in, comrade. I'm ready to play for pay. Venezuela's government ordered the arrest of nine top aides to opposition leader Maria Corina Machado on Wednesday for their alleged involvement in a plot to destabilize Nicolas Maduro's government. Machado has been banned from running in the general election by the Maduro regime because she might win. And finally, in baseball, the Los Angeles Dodgers interpreter for Shohai Otani was fired Wednesday afternoon after questions surrounding at least $4.5 million in wire transfers sent from Otani's bank account to a bookmaking operation set off a series of events. Okay. Ipe Mizohara, the longtime friend and interpreter for Otani, incurred the gambling debts to Southern California bookmaking company that is under federal investigation, multiple sources told ESPN. How he came to lose his job started with reporters asking questions about the wire transfers. I don't know which one is Otani and which one is Mizahara. It's not because I think all Japanese look alike. It's because I don't follow sports and some Japanese look alike. I'm GD Fenderson, certified forensic humorist. Now with New York Technology, Thank you for watching Critical Joke Theory. If you enjoyed it, please like and share it. And please check out Dunway Fast Funny on YouTube, Knob TV, and Spark TV, and watch The Church of Last Resort, streaming live on Sundays on YouTube at 9 a.m. Eastern. Be safe out there, and don't feed the crazies. Critical Joke Theory with your host, G.D. Fenderson, certified forensic humorist. Now with new joke technology.